it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Friday, October 18th. Okay, so we have the moon in Taurus energy here all day. Of course, we just shifted into this Taurus energy after we had the full moon in Aries pop off here yesterday. And just a reminder, we did have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, shift into Sagittarius energy while the moon was void, moving from that Aries energy into Taurus energy. Of course, with the moon in Taurus, we are present. We're focused on the here and now. We're very connected to our physical form, to our present circumstances. We don't want to think too far in the past. We definitely don't want to think too far into the future because that brings on a lot of anxiety. Instead, we're kind of focused in on what is working and we want to continue to build upon some of the things that we already kind of have working for us that we already have in place that we've already built and created. We want to build on those particular structures. Now, there are six different aspects popping off here today, all six involving the moon, which means that we're gifted with the moon day. Having a moon day means that we are going to emotionally refine some of the situations, realizations, connections, and epiphanies that, of course, have been popping off under this full moon in Aries. Again, felt very much like more so of a new moon than a full moon because this is breakthrough energy. Now we have to integrate it. The moon in Taurus allows us to be grounded, anchoring in these new revelations, and again, kind of shifting to the positivity of building onto the things that are currently working for us. The moon in Taurus energy going to get off to a little bit of a bumpy start. We are going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who, of course, is retrograde in Gemini energy. So, again, when Jupiter is kind of being aspected in not the nicest way, we're kind of low on optimism. We're low on confidence. A lot of this is because, again, Jupiter wants us to reflect back, wants us to be thinking about old ideas, old conversations, old situations, old circumstances that, again, the moon in Taurus really doesn't want to revisit. We want to stick to this present moment, but Jupiter is magnifying where it is that we should be looking back. Therefore, there is this element of a growing pain. Jupiter does want us focused on the past, revisiting some topics and themes in order to kind of broaden our horizons, broaden the greater, grander picture of understanding. The moon in Taurus really doesn't want to do that. We just want to focus on what is working. We want to focus on what we know to be true here in this present moment. We want to work with what is tangible. We don't want to go too far into the past. We reach a brand new extreme coming out of that particular tension point. The moon in Taurus going to make a positive interaction with the north node in Aries energy. So where Jupiter wanted us looking back, the North Node wants us looking forward. And although we're not super comfortable in thinking too far into the future, we are definitely starting to open up to see where it is that we've grown, where it is that we've healed, where it is that we want to take more steps in a new direction. Again, building on some existing structures, especially where routines, relationships, where some futuristic long-term goals and visions are concerned. We're not thinking too far ahead Head, but we're definitely giving ourselves permission to think about the moves that could be made. We're going to run into a little bit of a tension point when the moon in Taurus energy is going to sit directly across from and oppose Mercury. Mercury being the ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. Mercury's in Scorpio energy and Taurus and Scorpio energy sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel. Emotionally speaking, we want to be present. We want to focus in on the smaller details that make us happy, that make us feel safe, that make us feel secure. Mercury, on the other hand, and Scorpio energy, we want to ruffle some feathers. We're looking back. We want to dig things up. We want to ask the right kind of questions. We want to kind of, you know, dissect old thoughts, old situations, old conversations, old circumstances. And so again, we have this tug of war. Emotionally speaking, we're trying to stay present. We're trying to stay positive. We're trying to stay focused on what it is that we can continue to grow upon, build and create. Well, Mercury more kind of focused on bringing things up and breaking things down. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mars. Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is in cancer energy. 
not his most favorable place. However, this is a positive interaction. What we have going on here is the cancer energy does kind of have us overly attached to the past, but we're in preservation mode. Whatever it is that is working for us, we want to protect, we want to continue to build upon. So emotionally speaking, we're kind of getting honed in on the good parts, on the parts that are working, on the parts that are bringing happiness and joy, bringing a sense of safety and security. And we want to really be motivated, inspired to continue to build on those particular things. There is an element of protection, of defense coming in with Mars to again, fight, defend, protect what is worthy of protecting, what is worthy of building upon. We've had a shift in our worth and our values. We've had a shift in our priorities. And there are certain systems and structures that, again, we've built, brought to life, previously created that are definitely working for us. So we're starting to emotionally align, orient with where it is that we could continue to build on these particular aspects, these particular structures, these particular circumstances that involve mostly our day-to-day -day lives, where routines, relationships, and long-term goals are concerned. The moon is then going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Neptune. Neptune, of course, is retrograde in Pisces energy, in his rulership. Now, normally we like Taurus and Pisces energy working together because the Pisces energy aligns us with our higher self, downloads us with intuitive insight, really pushes us into new creative solutions. We're able to kind of lose ourselves in la la land, lose ourselves in imaginary land and whatever it is that we can conjure up there that we want to kind of bring to life and manifest. We're actually able to do so through the Taurus energy. Problem is, is again, we're thinking too far ahead in the Pisces energy. Too far ahead means that we are not rooted, grounded, anchored in this present moment, and that in itself destabilizes our emotional realm. Again, we get overwhelmed with the to-do list when it comes to recognizing where it is that we're at and where it is that we desire to be. Recognizing that distance, recognizing that gap puts a lot of stress, a lot of pressure on us and we're just not about that vibe with the moon in Taurus energy. The last thing that we have going on here today, the moon is going to sextile beautiful interaction with Saturn. Saturn being the Lord of Karma ruling over roles, responsibility, system structures, foundations. We are retrograde in this Pisces energy. So again, Pisces energy and Taurus energy when aspected in a good way, we love this particular energy. We're able to bring something new to life. We're able to see what needs to be brought to life. We do have a little bit of a reality check coming with Mr. Saturn, but it's not a harsh one. It's simply taking a good look at our physical realms, at the systems, the structures, the foundations, the relationship dynamics that we've built, that we've created, and figuring out who and what needs to stay and needs to go. Again, we're kind of building ourselves up in our inner realm. We do have Saturn's retrograde pushing us inward to see where we have to be a little bit more disciplined, to have a little bit more willpower, to actually see the hard parts through. Now, again, the moon, emotionally speaking, we're grounded, we're anchored, we're kind of realizing what is working. And of course, where Saturn is concerned, that's all about boundaries. That's all about structures. That's all about foundation. So we're recognizing what is working and what it is that we have the opportunity to continue to build upon.